the Asus G701VI may be 300% as heavy and thick as the MacBook Pro, but the G701 also houses 1300% the graphics horsepower. So the way we see it, if you're gonna spend three grand on a laptop, it might as well be capable of physically crushing the other guys. Browse privately and securely with TunnelBear, the simple VPN app. Try TunnelBear for free at the link in the video description. It's not exactly hard to tell that the G701VI is a gaming laptop. The outside is brushed aluminum with red lighting on the back that makes it look mean and ready for business. No, not that kind of business. Gaming business. With a 17.3 inch screen and a 330 watt power brick that could probably double as a bludgeoning device, you don't even have to see the specs to know it's an absolute monster. The IO is a solid mix of more than you'll probably need, plus a Thunderbolt 3 port, allowing up to three external 4K displays, and internal highlights include a Core i7 7820HK processor. Don't know what that is? No problem. It's a high TDP mobile chip with support for overclocking, and ASUS has cranked it up to a whopping 4.3 gigahertz. And in addition to that, we've got an overclocked desktop class GTX 1080 that sits at Wow, seriously? 1923 megahertz from our measurements. That is faster than a Founders Edition desktop card. What the stuff? And gaming performance is what you'd expect from this combo. It destroyed everything in our test suite, yielding 120 FPS in several modern AAA titles on ultra settings at 1080p and never scoring below 60 FPS in anything. The best part is you'll get to see all of those frames too if you get a model like ours with the 120Hz 1080p G-Sync panel. It really gets a chance to flex its muscles in fast-paced FPS games like Doom. Now you probably won't care about how accurate the full sRGB color space coverage is while you're spinning around smashing demons heads in, but I'm pleased to report that the IPS panel does a good enough job in this regard with solid viewing angles and adequate brightness as a bonus. And at no point during our testing did we feel like motion blur or input lag were a problem. But, this is the big question about laptops and portable devices in general. Can it maintain that level of performance under an extended load without resorting to bulky or risky water cooling strategies? In short, yeah. Running Furmark GPU stress test in extreme overclocking mode, the GPU stabilized at 79 degrees while maintaining a very impressive 1923 megahertz. CPU cooling didn't blow us away to quite the same degree after it fell to a measly 3.8 gigahertz in Ida64 after shooting up to 94 degrees at its overclocked 4.3 gigahertz. But in fairness, we did never run into that issue in our non-synthetic tests, and it topped out under 80 degrees Celsius in our gaming benchmarks. The G701VI noise level while gaming is what I would describe as acceptable. To its credit, it avoids the high-pitched whine of smaller gaming laptops and is basically silent relative to the Sager NP9873 when that thing is pushed to its limit, but it still definitely lets you know it's there. It's kind of like a hot air balloon parked above your neighbor's house. One sore spot for me, given the price tag, is that upgrading this thing is a bit of a pain in the arse. Getting inside takes 14 screws, and once you're in there, half the RAM slots are on the underside of the motherboard. And the same goes for the SSDs. Only one of them can be easily accessed. Though that kind of thing won't come up that often, so let's move on to day-to-day -day usability. I'm not totally sure how I feel about the keyboard. For typing, the short travel distance and key spacing is fine, 
and I easily got up to speed, but there's more flex than I'd like, especially near the space bar, and I just didn't find it that comfortable. With that said, the gaming tuned feel of the key switches and the shape of the space bar, the five programmable macro keys and the keyboard backlighting bring my grade up to a, a B. Or at least they would if it included RGB backlighting. I mean, this is a gaming product for shame, Asus. The trackpad is what I would consider very usable. Straight out of the box, it's actually great but if your fingers get sweaty at all, it turns into a bit of a grime magnet and it's easy for your fingers to kind of skip across it, which does hurt accuracy when you're trying to be very precise with it. The odds that a would-be G701 VI shopper will have a gaming mouse hooked up to it all the time though are pretty high. I just think Asus could have done better in this regard. Speakers are decent for a laptop with fair bass and no distortion, even at full volume. Although again, if you're gaming, you're probably going to have headphones plugged in, but fortunately Asus has you covered there too, and the 701 VI sports an ESS Sabre DAC and amp, getting up near external DAC quality, and it's nice to see this included. Now, of course, everyone in the comments is probably saying, this is stupid, just buy our gaming desktop. And honestly, it's no secret that as a filthy casual grade gamer these days, I run a thin and light. But let's say you did want a full fat gaming experience that's portable. Have you ever carried a desktop as your carry-on on a plane? I have, and it's a massive pain and takes up all your space and weight allowances. So if you regularly move around for work or school, the G701 VI ticks all the right boxes for me. As long as you have $3,500 to blow on a laptop. Have you ever thought, gee, I'd love to build a website, but it's just too hard? Well, Squarespace takes all of that and throws it in a bin and lights it on fire because Squarespace is super easy to use. It's only 12 bucks a month and you get a free domain if you sign up for the year and they offer 24 seven support via live chat and email. You just pick the template you want, throw in all the pictures and text that you like, and boom, you can preview it in real time and it'll look great on any device. They've got commerce built into every one of their templates. They've got their logo builder and everyone can publish content in Apple News format now directly from the Squarespace blog module. So whether you run a little league sports team or whether you have a restaurant or whether you design websites for people and you just wanna make your life a lot easier, check out Squarespace, start a trial with no credit card required and use offer code LTT to get 10% off your first purchase. So thanks for watching guys. If this video sucked, you know what to do, but if it was awesome, get subscribed. Hit that like button or check out the link to where to buy the stuff we featured in the video description. Also down there is our merch store where you can buy cool shirts like this one and our community forum, which you should totally join. Now that you're done doing all that, go watch another one of our videos. We should have a little like uh, suggested one on the screen there. Woo, click it.